I want to talk about one more thing about name ranges, and then we'll start to use, utilize them. The question that I get asked quite a bit is I've created name ranges, or a name range. I've used it. They're great. But how do I make edits to it? Perhaps I referenced the wrong cells, or I need to increase or decrease the reference within the name range, or I want to change its name, right? Or where can I find all the name ranges within an Excel workbook? Well, here it is. So I'm still inside the exercise file. I've created my week one name range. I've then used it again and again. These are all incorrect, so I should delete those out, right? We can fix those later. But what I want to do now is what if I want to change the reference? I want to, it's not, shouldn't be B5 through B9. Maybe it should be B5 through B7 or B5 through B20 or whatever I want the range to be. Well, to make the edit, we're not going to go back to the name box. That's how you can create name ranges. I'm going to go to my formulas tab, top of my screen. And on my formulas tab, I got a section called defined names. And inside of there, there's several operations, but one of them is name manager. So I can give that name manager a click. This will open up my name manager window. And within there, I can see that I actually have a couple of name ranges in this workbook. There's a couple that are broken. This pound ref, those are, those are broken. Somebody deleted them, deleted a worksheet, got rid of the range, whatever it was, that no longer works. So I can actually delete names from here. I'll select gross margin, I'll hit delete. Yes, I'm sure, okay. I'm gonna delete out the lists. Yep, let's get rid of that. And I've just got my week one in there, what I created earlier. I can select that one in, and from there I can hit edit. I can also see down below what it references and I can make the edits right there. But all through this interface here, you can interact, make edits, delete, and even create new ones, new name ranges, all through the name manager. So remember, all I did was go to my formulas tab and into the name manager and you'll find them all right there. So try this out. Hop up to the formulas tab, go to the name manager. You can get rid of the broken ones that are a part of this exercise file. You can see week one inside there. If you created others, you'd be able to modify them, you'd be able to delete them, and even create new ones from the name manager window.